Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. I have to report that our, our sponsor here, Coca-Cola, has, has we've had to drop our sponsor here at uh, the report from Tiger Mountain because it wants us to be less white, and I'm sorry, we can't be. The report from Tiger Mountain, stick around and listen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the anti-white racism, you know, I mean, one of the things you'll notice with media today is that racism is bad, you know, and that's, that's the one thing everybody can agree on across all media, except for anti-white racism, which is good, you know, as much anti-white racism as can be stuffed into, um, you know, uh, our media, um, you know, coverage or our media hour. Um, obviously, Coca-Cola came out recently and made a statement uh, and said, you know, you should try and be less white. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that. Do we need to get out the kind of like Al Jolson kind of like shoe polish and begin to black up a little? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, am I going to have to be doing the uh, report from Tiger Mountain in blackface in the very near future? I'm not sure. But um, there is a kind of huge narrative, and I'm sure you've noticed it, this kind of anti-white um, feeling. I mean, it's just been going, I mean, uh, all across US media and obviously across English media and even Australian media, that's absolutely ridiculous. And obviously, that recently there was that shooting in um, Colorado and I mean, you know, instantly, um, you know, obviously you can see that the um, Democrats really want to get rid of guns, of course, because, yeah, I mean, obviously they, I mean, obviously what happened January 6th was not an actual insurrection, but they obviously are worried about a real insurrection. And obviously as they further and further take America over and take it away from what America means, and they don't want anybody to be armed, basically. And so they want to take away everybody's guns now. Uh, obviously, you know, this is something Alex Jones has long said that we all thought, well, that's not going to happen. Well, here, here we are, of course, that's what they're now attempting. And so when that shooting in Colorado happened, they said it was a white man. Okay, well, as soon as the actual information got about uh, 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 who it is, it was actually a uh, kind of Muslim guy. He, he looked white, as many people in Syria or in all these countries, they do look white. Um, but he had, he had a Muslim name, and he was actually a kind of left-wing person who was part of this kind of woke culture, and the people he killed were all white. So he was actually a kind of woke warrior um, going after white people. So, you know, I mean, it, but originally the way the media wanted to portray it, they wanted to portray it as if it was a white guy going after what other white people? This was somehow an act of white terrorism? I don't know, mate, but this is obviously part of, you know, this kind of, um, you know, mischief that's going on at the moment, this kind of uh, false narrative that we're seeing. Um, obviously they are trying to label um, white people as terrorists when obviously the terrorists are the traditional people we have associated with terrorism, which is Muslims in the West um, and sometimes other radical groups, whether they be left and every now and then occasionally there is a far right terrorist, but very, very rarely. And um, so, I mean, you know, the traditional uh, sources of terrorism remain um, kind of dis disgruntled kind of uh, people from the Islamic world. And that's what this thing was in, in Colorado. But the fact that they were trying to lay it at the door of white people, this goes to show the, the level of lies that they're happy to, to seek to kind of sink to and um, just the absolute nonsense that's been going on at the moment. So that's all I wanted to say on the report from Tiger Mountain. Um, this part of this kind of larger narrative of kind of anti-white racism and um, that goes right, you know, I mean, right back to the recent uh, announcement from Coke to be less white. Can we be less white? I think you should just chuck this in the bin and go Pepsi, ladies and gentlemen. Go Pepsi.